السلام علیکم مائی نیم از رومان چودھری بائی پروفیشن آئی ایم این آرکیٹیکچرل ویژولائزر آئی ہیو بین میکنگ ٹیوٹوریلز آف آرکیٹیکچرل ویژولائزیشن اسپیسیفکلی ان اردو لینگویج فرام پاسٹ ٹو ایئرس سو دس ٹیوٹوریل آئی ایم میکنگ مائی ٹیوٹوریل ان انگلش بٹ آئی ول کیپ مائی ایکسینٹ ویری سلو سو دیٹ دا پیپل ہو ہیو بین ریگولرلی واچنگ مائی ٹیوٹوریلس دیٹ وچ ور ان اردو ہندی دے کین اسٹل انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ آئی ایم ڈلیورنگ وٹ آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو سی so i hope my accent would wouldn't be very fast uh, it will be totally understandable if still uh, i fail to uh, convey what i am saying uh, if, if it gets difficult for you you can anyway you can always ask anything from me through my email id that i have given in the description box below you can go and check it out so my topic for today's tutorial is uh, how to do cardboard Uh, type of rendering in corona let me show you an example of what i am saying uh, so here it is so these are uh, two renderings that i had did for my one of my design projects with the help of hasan shabir and uh, ali shoja very uh, talented architects so as you can see this is uh, a rendering but the moment i uploaded this image is on internet people got very confused and they started saying where did you get these models done from because uh, with uh, within the first glance uh, these uh, this thing looks like a physical model and my intention was to make it look like a physical model so yes i got succeeded in what i was trying to achieve so if you look these images very closely you can uh, you can see i have i worked in detail with these images with these models uh, if you see all these edges having some sort of ambient occlusion uh, having some, some sort of dirt uh, going on through and all these uh, trees you know so these little things are uh, helping in bringing the that model sort of touch in whole rendering but the way i did these renderings Uh, is very simple uh, i'll show you in a couple of minutes so let's uh, let me show you the other image too so this one is the other image of this uh, whole visualization and you can see how close it looks uh, to uh, you know a cardboard model a physical model so this is mo the model for me today that that i will be using for this rendering let i will go in the top view so let's make a plane beneath this whole model its size should be covering the whole model when i will be giving it a perspective view it should be the plane should be covering the whole viewport viewport as well so let me press shift f initially so that i can see uh, according to my resolution the let me see what resolution is going on in the render settings Uh, okay this resolution is very reasonable for now uh, so i will get rid of other settings for now and what i will do next is i will increase the size of my plane to the level where i can make it infinity according to my viewport okay so let me add a camera too i what i will do is uh, with the help of this toolbar of corona i will place a corona camera over here and i'll give it a birds eye view type of view when you are uh, actually taking the picture of your model you used to take it from the above level that is kind of aerial view so i'll i i'm going to do exactly the same with my uh, rendering too because i want it to make i want to make it look like a very natural rendering i will place a light a source of light that is very necessary for uh, this field so i'll go in the toolbar i'll choose rectangle rectangular light so let me place a light over here so i'll place a light over here and give it uh direction should be facing your model okay always keep this in mind the bigger the light uh, or what i should say the more the size of the light the softer the shadows 
the the more the lesser the size of the light source the sharper the shadows okay this is a very useful tip i i am sure most of us do not know this thing so i have placed a light but let me add uh, a generic material so what i'll do is corona corona uh, sorry materials corona mtl i will control press control a to the whole model to select the whole model so now i will select this one uh, and you can see the whole material this one is applied to whole model so now let's hit the render button and see what is going on let me also press control s i do not want to lose my file okay by pressing shift q i am going to start its rendering so now as you can see the lighting is pretty much looking reasonable but uh, obviously there are some tweaks that need to be done so highlight compression value should be more than 15 or 20 because highlights were burning so much okay so this is in the reasonable condition now uh, but the shadows uh, you can see uh, shadows are smoother but they need to be they needs to be some sort of light here as well so what i'll do is let's copy this light source copy do not instance this because we uh, i am going to uh, change its properties a bit so let's get it rendered first okay so this is the result i am getting right now but i do like to i should reduce its intensity so this area should remain a little bit in shadow so intensity let's reduce it to 20 50 50 was the default so yeah now this looks a kind of reasonable result uh, result i want i wanted to achieve so now the next step that starts uh, is material making material is something that will make it look like a physical model so what i will do is let's open the material slot this was the material i had applied on the whole model i will make it the re remain the same okay by double clicking it i will assign the diffuse color let me show you the rendering so you can see the color uh, i have used in this rendering is a little bit of creamish yellowish white so let's assign it a color accordingly mm, i think this one will work fine for me brownish but less brown not too much okay now let's also get it rendered first and see what is happening in the rendering okay so this looks fine to me as you can see rendering is happening very fine rendering is going going on great let's do the magic with the rendering what i'll do is now uh, first of all i will start its interactive rendering too so i can see what is happening in the viewport uh, in the rendering now let's make the detailed texture for this whole thing you know okay with the diffuse color i am going to add in the diffuse color maps corona corona ambient occlusion corona ao so you can see what it has done already let me open the ambient occlusion settings so what is happening here there are two type of things occluded color and unoccluded color So what ambient occlusion basically does is the area of the model where two meshes uh, are attaching with each with each other uh, occlusion works on that specific specifically on that area and unoccluded means the rest of the area where meshes are not attaching with each other so let's see what is what next needs to be done what i'll do is i'll go back in the main uh, texture i will assign unoccluded part with the same color so now you can see what is happening with the model the same color is uh, back here but <coughs> i want to achieve this kind of thing this kind of thing with the rendering i had added another te another texture in the in the model so i'll tell you in a couple of minutes what i did there so yeah what i will do for now is 
occluded area as you can see is in the black color and already where the edges are happening or where the meshes are joining with each other already that, that area is very much black so calculate from uh, this is right now in outside mode I will uh, replace it with outside plus inside so now you can see the outer edges are also getting this black color so 8 foot that means from that edge it is spreading 8 feet wide so let's reduce its uh, area to 2 inches or 1 inch roughly so now you can see uh, the ambient occlusion is spreading very nicely very very uniformly but within 2 inches of that area I have already started achieving my results so far but I need to tweak it more to make it look uh, to make it look more realistic so let's copy this color to occlusion but let's make it a little darker so you can uh, achieve some realistic results let's make it look uh, make it more darker and also in case let's increase its area maximum distance so as you can see now by increasing its distance and uh, adding some color darker color of the unoccluded variant you can see it is now looking uh, looking already looking like a physical model but let's achieve this kind of texture filling too so what I will do now is in occluded color I will add a wooden texture so in occlusion maps corona corona bitmap and now I will go into my directory and add a wooden texture uh, ok so let's go with this wood ok so now you can see as soon as I added the wooden texture it started looking very nice already exactly this is this was the feeling that I was uh, looking forward in this rendering and I have already received it achieved it sorry so I will decrease this value a bit so this is the way you can achieve the this kind of rendering this technique is very useful especially for uh, students of architecture who want to present their models in a very artistic way and if they don't have the time to make physical models too so this is something that you can do with your model because I know the uh, ske sketchup based model do not take much, much time to build uh, within a few hours you can do very complex modeling too in sketchup using sketchup or even in 3ds max so this is the rendering style you should opt to present your model because realistic rendering uh, is still far-fetched for many students out there and what they do is they mess up with the whole model after doing realistic renderings and I, I do know that realistic renderings also do not uh, get that much realistic and they look very pathetic uh, at the end so this is the style you can opt as you can see this is not a very difficult method with very few clicks you can do very beautiful renderings so I'm hoping this tutorial was uh, helpful for you guys. If there is any, any sort of suggestion, any sort of question regarding this tutorial, please email me. I'll reply you. So take care. Allah Hafiz.